of the same snail just now. Oh, what about this one then? Hey, how come my picture is on your camera? It's not yours, Tim. It's just that we took a picture of the same thing. Well, the garden is not that big. What if we look for a bigger and more interesting place? To the supercomputer! Scanning the camera. <laughs> All done. Oh, the jungle. That's not just big. That's a gigantic place. We can take pictures all day long. Woohoo! To the jungle we go. So pretty. This is miles better than the garden. Guys, what kind of animal is that? Interesting. Guys, I don't think that's an animal. That's Professor, Professor Coconut. Coconut! Hello, children. Fancy seeing you here. What are you doing behind the bush, Professor? I'm looking for a purple beetle. Uh, wait, are those cameras I'm seeing? Yeah, we're going around the jungle to take some pictures. Oh, here he is. I can teach you. Follow me, children. What are you guys waiting for? Let's go! Okay, Paula. Coming. <laughs> With that, your lesson is done. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 Now go and capture the world! Yes, yes Professor, Professor Coconut. Coconut! Tim, the mango is not properly framed. Oh, okay. There's nothing in the sky, Billy. What are you trying to capture? That's just a rock, Tim. Why would you take a photo of a rock? So you should never touch your lens. Your pictures will be smudged with fingerprints. Hey, uh, Paula, want to split up? Split up? Yeah, so, um, we can take pictures of different things. Oh, okay. Sure, let's split up. <sighs> Good one, Paula. <laughs> Tim? Billy? Paula was being so strict with us. Yeah, we just want to have fun taking pictures. But I feel bad for Paula. We shouldn't have left her by herself. <sighs> You're right. Well, let's just tell her we want to have fun. How about that? Agreed. At last, I've got you. <gasps> oh, sorry, Professor. Why the long face? And where are the others? <sighs> they don't want to be with me because I'm not fun. I was too strict with the picture taking. Hmm, I see. Uh, sometimes we might get too invested in our passion. There are times that you can be serious and passionate about the things you do. But uh, sometimes we might get too passionate and we expect people to feel the same about our passion. It's fine to take a step back and just enjoy the things you're passionate about, especially when you're with friends. Just have fun. You're right. I took away their fun. Paula! There you are. We were looking for you. Tim, Billy, I'm sorry for being so strict. Oh, we want to say we're sorry too. Yeah, we should have told you we just want to have fun taking pictures. Then off you go and have some fun! Okay, Professor Coconut! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you learn to have fun, Paula! That's right, Billy! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh! Remember this magic trick, Billy? Oh, yeah! The flashy one! I like this one, Paula! <laughs> I was so dizzy! Oh, that's the gnome who uses a magic wand. 
He's the only gnome who uses a wand. I wish we could have another magic party soon. Huh? huh? Mr. Mango? Hello, children. What brings you here? Do you have more magic tricks? Magic tricks! Magic, magic tricks! Sorry, children. Not today. I actually need your help. The gnome with the magic wand lost it during the magic party yesterday. Oh, dear. It must have been lost somewhere in the garden. If you happen to find it, can you please let me know? You got it, Mr. Mango. Thank you, children. Bye for now. Hmm. Where should we start looking in the garden? Let's ask the supercomputer. <laughs> Photo with gnome and magic wand on the scanner. All done. The magic wand could be somewhere in the sandbox. Or in the bushes. Or in the plants. Let's, let's go, go to, to the, the garden. garden. All right. Let's split up to find that magic wand. Ah, shucks. No magic wand here. Hi, little bug. Have you seen a magic wand? No. Nothing here either. I found it! I found it! Great job, Paula. Now we can let Mr. Mango know. Mr. Mango is going to be so happy we found the magic wand. Wait, now that we have the wand, maybe we can try out some magic tricks. But it's not ours, Tim. Come on, guys. Wouldn't it be fun to try out our own magic tricks? I don't think this is a good idea, Paula. Oh, pretty please. Well, maybe just one magic trick. Yippee! Don't worry, Billy. Only one magic trick. Then we'll give the wand back to Mr. Mango, okay? Okay. I've got a good one. Abracadabra! <gasps> Paula, you look just like Tim. What? <laughs> I knew you always wanted to be just like me. No way. <laughs> look at us, Billy. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> All right, can you turn me back now, Tim? Maybe later. <laughs> Tim! Can I try now? Sure. But I thought it was just one magic trick. Oh, I have an idea. What if Billy does the last magic trick? That's a great idea. Here, Billy. I don't know, guys. Come on, Billy. Have some fun. Imagine all the things you can do. If you love candy, you could magic all the candy in the world. Or you can fly around the world on a magic cloud. Well, if there's one magic trick I want to do, it would be a petting zoo. Yay! Wow! Animals, of course. We should have known. <laughs> Billy, use the wand to return the animals. Twitchy tails! The wand! What are we going to do now? Hello, children. What in the name of magic is going on here? Mr. Mango, please help us. The horse has the wand. Phew, that should do it. Thank you, Mr. Mango. Now hold on. Who used magic to get these animals here? It was me, Mr. Mango. I used the wand. Oh, Billy. I'm very disappointed in you. No, wait. It wasn't Billy's fault. We made Billy use the wand. Billy actually wanted to call you. We're sorry, Mr. Mango. We wanted to try one magic trick, but it got out of hand. I see. In that case, this one's just for you, Billy. Wow! Wow! We got to see one last magic trick, Paula. That's right, Billy. Magic trick! Magic trick! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us for more fun next time.